WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman for the Tiger Financial News Network. 11 a.m. market update. Dow's up 137 after yesterday's very strong move to have a follow through like this, especially after the test of the halfway mark of yesterday's candle. That is really positive. It means that up uh, 140 at 31,724. It's very close to the 31,817 nine period exponential moving average test. <clears throat> If it can close above that in the next two days, there's a chance that it could go for 32,062, the 14-period moving average. But let's just go one step at a time. It has to hold 31. Now I think the support level is between 31,500 and 31,400 as key support. Looking at the S&P, very good move. It's now over the nine-period moving average, up 24 at 4,004. Nice to see the 4,000s again. Hasn't been there for a couple of days. Now what we're looking at is 4030 would be the 14-period exponential moving average target. If it's able to get to 41, oh, I'd say 4112 uh, by today or tomorrow, that says perhaps by early next week we can get there. Looking at the and key support now is at the I would put that key support at 39.52. Yeah, 39.62. And let's go to the QQQ. QQQ is very nice, touching the, four, the nine period moving average. It's up 236 at 301.20. This is a good move, but in all these cases, the MACD stochastic, everything needs to be moving up in sync and it's really prices is dragging the technicals up. And we haven't got the SMHs doing much. Although they're up 256 right now, they weren't leading yesterday. Now they need to start to lead. They need to get over the 215 level by a Friday or Monday. Looking at the uh, gold, oh, I didn't do that in my show. Gold is pulled back sharply down 10 at 1718. And the reason is that the dollar, which looked uh, like it was pulling back overnight, uh, has moved back up. Up 31 ticks at 109.87, made a high of 110.79. Leg E is still very strong technically. And the TLT we spoke about in my show, the target ignitions hour a moment ago at 109.09. Oh, it just needs to get much higher if we want to see yields come down. So I'm going to wrap it up right here. You've got great programming all the rest of the day. And um, one other thing I want you to mention was within the context of the market itself, at this particular point, I personally am treating this as a pretty decent chance to bounce. And then we'll see if it triggers longer term or more intermediate term moves up. But this is a bounce at this moment. Have a great rest of the day. I'll be back on Tuesday.